Wayne Swan is counting his losses in the lead-up to the budget. He's revealed another multi-billion dollar revenue wipeout in the first few months of this year. It'll increase the size of the Treasurer's sixth deficit to be announced next month. From Canberra, political correspondent Greg Jennett reports. Light up the lobbying. Three weeks before the budget should be a per perfect time for a high visibility road funding campaign. There are solutions. It's stronger investment to build better roads. Motoring groups with seven million members are placing their demands for projects worth $100 billion over the next decade. The revenue base is their motorists are contributing to the revenue base. And what they want to see is that they're going to get fairer value for the taxes that they pay. Revenue? The Treasurer is losing it by the truckload. They hit, if you like, a sledgehammer to revenues in the budget since the mid-year update of something like $7.5 billion. That brings total revenue losses since last year's budget to $11.5 billion. <laughs> this is one of the reasons why I made the point at the end of last year that we were unlikely to return to surplus in 2012-13. It's a different sounding Wayne Swan who's emerging from this year's IMF spring talks in Washington. Some of Europe's austerity measures he calls mindless, cutting government spending for the sake of a surplus, very yesteryear. Savage cuts across the budget to return to surplus earlier and that would be a tragic mistake for Australia. With the potential for years of deficits on the way, the coalition's also hastening slowly on a surplus these days. There's a sense in which all bets are off uh, until we have seen what their uh, fiscal outlook is. Tony Abbott's hedging his bets on one big spending item, the National Schools Funding Package. Depending what premiers and chief ministers decide before the election, he suggested a future coalition government could rework the current funding formula rather than the one from the Gonski Review. In the absence of anything which is clearly uh, dramatically better and affordably dramatically better, I think we are better off fine-tuning the existing system. His preference is for all leaders to leave the funding deal alone until after September. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.